Welcome to this video on the topic of algebra. In this video, we'll be revising the terminology that we use to describe the components of algebraic statements. So consider we have an algebraic equation and we call it, or we define it as 6b plus 23 takes 16t and we say that's equal to 8b plus 40. Now what we have here is called an algebraic equation or simply we just call it an equation. And the reason this is an equation is because there is an equal sign here. Now the question we ask ourselves is, well, okay, I can call this whole thing an equation, but what makes up an equation? And the answer to that is on either side of the equal sign, what we have are called expressions. So equations are made up of expressions. Now, the next question is, well, okay, if we have expressions, what are expressions made of? And the answer to that is expressions are made up of something called terms. So in this case, on the left-hand side here, the expression on the left, the 6b, that is a term, the 23, that is also a term, and the negative 16t, we also call that a term. Notice I include the negative in with the 16t. The negative actually belongs to that 16 and that t. So these are all a package deal together. So minus 16t, that is one term. Going even further and being more explicit, we ask ourselves, well, what are terms made of? And to answer that question, well, there are actually two different types of terms. So the first type of term involves a number and a letter grouped together. And the second type of term involves just a number by itself. So the one where we have the number simply by itself, we call that a constant. So on the, or in the expression on the right hand side here, this 40 or plus 40, that's a constant. Similarly, on the left hand side, the 23 is also a constant. So that's one sort of term. The other sort of term we deal with is where there's a number and a letter group together. So the one where the number and the letter group are grouped together, we call the number the coefficient. So in this case, the number 8 is our coefficient. And similarly, the letter itself, we have a name for that too. We call the letter the variable. So on the right hand side here, the term that's made up of the coefficient and variable is the 8b. Similarly, on the left hand side, we have the 6b, where our 6 is our coefficient and our b is our variable. So in this case, the minus 16 is our coefficient. So minus 16 is the coefficient and the t is the variable. So in summary, what we've done in this video is we've gone through the terminology we use to explicitly talk about algebraic statements.